Welcome back to another pristine production, guys. And I want to shout out to all the fans. Uh, remember, you uh, you guys can hit me up and uh, support my YouTube page. You can click on the little bean button if you want to donate uh, to my uh, cash app here. And uh, also, uh, be sure to join my producers of Village. A VIP $5.99 monthly. You get uh, top of the line. Advanced mixing videos for members only. But uh, today we're gonna we're gonna be switching up things. Uh, today we're gonna talk about a uh, mixtape uh, design here, and I'm gonna share some tips and tricks how to do some uh, pro uh, mixtape design here. So let's get right into it. Photoshop mixtape design. So now here we have a, a subject and. Uh, we have the background here, so we're gonna do some uh, designing here, freestyle. Uh, shout out to uh, the model here. So let me go ahead now. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm in Photoshop, but you can use whatever Photoshop. Um, I believe I'm using 2017, but uh, 2021 is out, so be sure to get that Photoshop here. From time to time, uh, artists that I produce for and uh, mix for and do productions for uh, they. Uh, Job, some designing jobs to do for them so you know like, i'm gonna share a little bit of trick here so here here's the layer here i'm gonna go get my pen tool and uh this is not for beginners this is for uh, people who are familiar with photoshop here. So and there are different type of ways to cut out the subject but um this is one of the most efficient way here so i'm gonna get the pen tool here do a cut around here. So I'm just gonna go around, do a rough here, around the edges here. Not too worried about all the fine details in her here. I'm just gonna do the rough outline here. I'm gonna use some tools here to uh, to get rid of uh, some of the bleed and that stuff. Let me go right about here. And uh, this is probably one of the most time-consuming part of uh, when you're doing design work. For this one, we're gonna move pretty fast, but you want to make sure the subject is cut out as precisely as possible here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shout out to all the Belize and artist tracks that you're hearing in this video as well. I produce, mix, record, mastered all of your songs. So let's go ahead and um, come around here. Now remember, uh, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just doing a rough around the subject here. Probably I would move a little bit slower if... Uh, depends. If it was a uh, client client job, it will take a little bit slower just, just to get a little extra stuff in there. But this is a pretty simple cutout here. So I'm going to zoom back out here. Because obviously uh, she's slightly off frame here in the picture, which, which is okay. We want to make sure we're using a background that uh, complements uh, the artist and goes along with the angle that they're in. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go to make a uh, selection here. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to do a little bit of uh, inverse here. So what I'm going to do to uh, slightly uh, pull in the edges here in Photoshop, I'm going to contract by one pixel here. So it tightens in the selection a little bit more. And then I'm going to go to the uh, selected mass here. I'm going to leave off the auto enhance here. So let's go to selected mass here. And uh, to make sure to see what I'm doing here, I'm going to go on black here. And let's zoom in. Now, automatically, Photoshop has a feature that to remove 
uh, the uh, bleeds here. So we're going to see how much of that little white we're going to take out there. So I'm going to stop at the edges there. Let's pull around here. Let's go over here. What I can see here is not doing too much of a good job. So I'm going to reverse that. Control Z. And I'm going to try the area over here. I'm going to show some techniques to, to clean up a little, uh, a little bit more. I'm going to shrink the, the selection head a little bit here so we get around here. Okay, so we managed to cut that, that, that part out as well. Now, what I'm going to do, if you notice here, well, obviously we're seeing the... Uh, a little bit soft. The edges are a little bit soft here. So I'm going to zoom in here. We want to sharpen that up there. So how do we do that? Uh, we're going to boost the contrast here. A little bit more. Right about there. I'm going to pull the edges here a little bit back. So it, I'm, I'm putting out a little bit more of that bleed here at the side of the hair. Um, I want to boost maybe about 2% of the smooth. I don't mess around with the feather too much. I don't want none to be soft. A lot of people make mistakes with that. So you see a little bit of soft here. I'm going to boost the contrast a little bit more. Maybe right about here. And uh, we can work it out. We're going to check out that bleed. So I'm going to go to output. A new layer here. So I'm going to check out the output. Here. As you can see, we have a fairly good selection, but we still have this bleed here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to uh, my background eraser tool here. I'm going to have a protect foreground color on. So uh, Photoshop is going to protect uh, her skin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sample a bit of her skin there. Then we're going to try and tackle the bleed right here. Go around here, and we're getting away with a little bit of bleed. Also, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the, the fringing here, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we have the subject here. so. What you want to generally do, you want to make sure that they're in a good frame here. You know, something got to, obviously we got to use this side, we can't use this side here. But sometimes if it's, the subject is too small, it might not blend in here. So she's looking pretty uh, pretty good right here. So let's do a couple things with the background. want to make sure the background is has similar lighting to her skin. Uh, although there are different color tones here, but we're going we're gonna to sort that out. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, unsharpening here. I'm gonna go to filter. I'm gonna sharpen a little unsharp mass here. See so if we can get a little bit more detail here. Right about here, here. I'm bring down the radius. Clear it up a little bit. Let's see if we push it a little bit more. Maybe about here. As of before, but before and after, we get a little bit more sharper details here with unsharp mass here. So I'm, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna go down to uh, camera raw filter here. What we do, we wanna smoothen out the texture here. Let's see if we can pull up camera raw. And I'm gonna go down to, let's go to uh, detail. We're gonna, Take down the noise reduction here, luminance here, so I'm going to push that up. So a little bit more here. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. So you can see that she's smooth now. If I go back here, then she looks a little bit sharp. Take this up, there we have a smoother picture there. Let's go back. If I want, I can bring back that sharp. We're good with that. So, gonna, so we have a, we have a, a smoother uh, character here. I'm 
gonna go to the background here and I'm gonna use a filter and uh, re re reduce the noise so we have a, a cleaner background here as you can see. And uh, you wanna make sure that the, the, the darkness and the brightness kinda of matches. Um, what we wanna do, we wanna make uh, like a, a kind of 3D effect here. So I'm, I'm gonna convert this to a smart filter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So whatever changes I make on that, a layer is on the, it's non destructible, so I'm going to Gaussian blur here. And I'm going to raise the blur here a little bit here. Maybe right about there. And then I'm going to use the mask here since we're working in a non destructive mode. I'm going to see if I can sharpen up a little bit of the background to get a little more realistic feel here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a little bit of highlighting here. So she's a little bit brighter than uh, the background here. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to use the... Uh, let's use the exposure. And I'm going to clip it to the uh, subject here. I'm going to bring down bring a little bit of darkness here. I'm going to use a mask and paint in, paint in back a little bit of light. So we need to paint in a little bit of light action here. Select the mask here. And uh, I'll switch my brush key here. I'll start painting back some of that light. Let's see if I'm making any difference here. I'm going to increase... Pasty here. This is a girl, Lady Ice. So I can paint in some of the light here to the edges here. Maybe right about here. Since the light is going to be coming from this area here. Go here. Before and after here. So I want to give a little bit of details here. So we want to blend her with the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the background. And I'm going to put a Gaussian blur on this thing. I'm going to fully blur it out here. So we want to make use of uh, some of the colors here. back in the full blur because we want to we use the color texture uh, from the uh, background to showcase on her here. I'll switch the brush. Make sure it's Okay. Let me go back a little bit more here. That, that's the exposure that we're missing. We're missing it around. Here. Let's try that again. I'm gonna take this above the exposure layer here. So this is the Gaussian blur layer here. So move the filter. I'm gonna take up the blur. Switch the mode of color mode here. I'm gonna bring down 
uh, you feel I'm gonna, so we can bring out a little bit of the color here of the background right about there so it's before after she has a little more blend with the color with the background a little pale but we're, we're gonna fix that now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a little bit of a bevel here so let's pick a slow do with a green color here we're gonna move around the angle of the lighting here maybe right about here Switch to different color modes here. Can you use a light here? Uh, we can use linear dodge. Vivid light. Linear light. Let's use linear light. And uh, we can select a color for the shadow here. Maybe a darkish pink. Let's bring that in. Maybe over the side. Can mess with the inner glow as well. Give it a color here, maybe a little bit of that red there. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Bring the choke down. No, that's not looking too good. Let's let's see if we can use maybe a brownish color. I want to adjust the, uh, the bevel here a little bit tighter. What I'm going to create here is a little bit of a glow effect here. So I'm going to create a glow here. Release a paper mask here. I'm going to go on screen mode. I'm going to sample that same blue color. Maybe take it up a little more. Take it right about there. Let's take the flow down. Let me get another one there. I'm gonna do another one here. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of soft light. Now what we want to do is create a kind of vignette effect here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill the entire layer with black. And I'm going to mask that out here. It's one of the easiest ways to create a vignette. A large brush here, I'm going to take down the flow. And I'm going to paint in back uh, the scene. Randomly paint back in the scene here. Or after you add a little bit of depth uh, to the uh, footage here. Now uh, let's go ahead and uh, what we can do, we can paint a little bit more highlights here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. I'm going to clip that to the subject. I'm going to boost the brightness. Maybe right about there. And then I'm going to fill that layer with black so we can paint in the white. You got to own a money, me got my one. Make we take a vacation from the island. You 
So let's go ahead and uh, paint him paint a bit more white color here. What I'm going to do now, I, I can go ahead and uh, uh, create a little bit of tagline. And type up something here. Drag that above. Production. Sometimes you, you, you want to use a different font here. Pick another one. I'm gonna call it uh, Cold of Mood. I have to pull this down here a little bit here. We can we can look for a spot to. Um, Sometimes you gotta experiment where you wanna put the text in here, see what you, um, where it would fit best. Um, we're gonna leave it down here, but we're gonna change up the, the, the font here. So I'm gonna click on, uh, see his characters, and bring in the different fonts here. Just looking for something that looks good, and then we can just go with it. Gunshot and when me here last night, police pan the race truck every day and night. Everything me hear another mother cry, daddy sit down and holy made and cry. Little baby's going on a father, single man a struggle not here and no one cares. But mama stays firm and strong anyway. That's why I right tell here. you, mama any day. Well, we can take it up here and uh, separate the words. I'm going to still change the, the font here. It's a little bit of experiment here. It's all in the fonting, guys. Fonts help you to get get your image to look uh, uh, pretty nice. the PNG. Here's my uh, signature uh, uh, name here, produced by Andrew Raven. I can put that. Um, I can bring in stuff like uh, maybe a Spotify here. So I'm going to 
gonna shrink the Spotify logo here. I'm gonna drag that on top of the subject. So it's uh, displayed on screen. Yo, me say I I shrink a little bit more. Talking about my fine body girls. No, Put that there. No other like me. What else do we got? Ice cream. Watch and know watch your body that I will like the way but it was. We can use the Amazon We can use the Amazon iTunes. Um let's do a, a quick masking of this year. We can use a background eraser too. Yeah. A sample of black here, so we remove the white. Select and do the same thing in the track. So we got a tighter selection here. I'm gonna ask that out. Go ahead and shrink this. Pull out the uh, logo here. So what we can do now, we can do a little bit of color correction to glue the entire image together. Let me do a little bit of color curves here. Bring down a little bit of the darkness here. Maybe boost, uh, boost the highlight a little bit. A little bit of the contrast here. I uh, can go to the blue channel here. Maybe play around with some of the blue. Since we want a cold kind of effect here. Pull out a little bit of the red. Gonna boost a little bit of the saturation so we can get that warm skin back on her that skin tone here. So that's the before and that's the after. Uh, let's uh, let's drag the, the cold mood uh, title up a little bit more. And there you have it, guys. Uh, Pristine Productions presents Cold Mood, produced by Andrew Rayburn here. And and remember, we can always control by using the uh, smart objects here. I can control how much of the that blur, you know, I can bring the background back into focus. Or I can uh, blur it out. Let's go, on, let's go and find it here. Uh, right over here. It's good to work with smart objects, so it's non destructive. So I can pull that out and bring in the background in focus, or I can completely blur everything here. Give you that depth of feel. I'm gonna blur it a little bit here. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, that's how uh, we can create a, a, a decent mixtape design, professional, looking all epic and all whole stuff. And uh, subscribe, comment, and let me know if you want me to do some more uh, tutorials like this using Photoshop. I'll catch you guys on the next one.